Ireland, Era, the Emerald Isle. Let's talk about tea. It's like a politician, really. Strong or weak, sweet or sharp, insipid or hard-boiled. Welcome to Green Tea. I know you've just recovered from the Late Late Show debate. Unfortunately, here comes another one. This is the News at One on Radio One. I'm Sean O'Rourke, and you're very welcome to the second of our debates with the presidential candidates. Good afternoon. Now, today we focus on RT, Beardy and Boring. Sorry about that, Gay Mitchell. No, hang on, what? Sean. What? I was raised in a damp cardboard box by wild dogs. Right. And I had to go to school in my brother's bare feet because I didn't have any. I see, Gay, And we but used to eat leftover chips okay. and eggshells. Okay, that's your time. I used to lick the inside of marmalade no, jars run out of time. To, to get me five no, a day. No, sorry. <sighs> Bertie was right. What? Um, to you now, Beardy, and why I can you tell like us I would like to about... take this opportunity, Sean. Well, I have Here haven't... and now. I haven't asked a question. To deny any suggestion. Here we go. That when I get to order some Ukraine, right. it will be jobs for the boys. Well, well, certainly not. Really? They'll all have to be at least 17 years old. And furthermore, can okay, I say, we, Sean... We've run, out of time. we've run out of time, then Senator Norris. Why is everyone interrupting me today? I don't understand you what know, is You know, Seamus Heaney said it best when he wrote... Michael so. Tree Higgins, you have no right to... All year the you flax have, how dare you? festered in the heart oh, of the townland, Michael green and heavy-headed. Oh, for heaven's Flax sake. had run. Okay, that's it. I am out of here. 22 bloody years in RT down the drain. Blue bottle. Sean O'Rourke is leaving. Strong course. Good afternoon. Did I mention Angela's ashes was a happy story compared to my childhood? In 24 hours, Ireland could be top of its group in the Rugby World Cup. I can only imagine how nervous Bod is feeling. Oh, my God. Uh, hello? Hi, it's Amy. Oh, hi, Amy. How are you doing? Do the positions for me. What? The rugby positions. Is it, or like flanker? Or yes. Tight end prop? Yes, or? yes. Uh, half back line? That's my favourite position. Drop head. Oh, that's amazing. Right. That's uh, dirty. Could be if it rains. Fly half? Oh, oh, <sighs> Bod, yes. Bod? No, it's Ronan here. <clears throat> Bod, Bod is here right now. Will I put him on to you? Oh, yes, please, Ronan. Right. Bod, it's for you. <coughs> Hello, Amy. Amy. Amy? There's nobody there. Banger. Count it down. When you're an international pop star, you can get away with anything. Even going topless in a field in the Unionist heartland. All right, take four. And action! Excuse me! What? Excuse me! What Stop the? what you are doing immediately! Whoa, whoa, hold, hold it up. I'm what? sorry, I'm sorry, sir. You are, sir? I am the owner of this field. That's who I am. I want to know who you are. Well, I, I'm a film director. Right now, I'm filming a video for this young lady's latest song, and you, sir, are interrupting our proceedings. Now, interrupting kindly... Interrupting the devil's work? I want you Hang off, on. off my land. I will not have the devil do his nasty work. You just wait a second. Disgusting. We've just spent millions of dollars. I don't care how much you have spent. I will not have that young Come on. lady going uh, all about men and what? looking for men and what she wouldn't do to men. God. Go. Okay. All of you know it. Okay, everyone. This is a waste of time. We're going to find somewhere else. Come on. Art. Come on, Sinead. We might as well go. Art. Sorry, honey. We'll get your boyfriend some other way. Out of my land. There are now seven candidates running in the race for the oars. Baldy, army, holy, boring, arty, beardy, and merry. Let's see how the race is going so far. And they're off. It's an open field over ten furlongs. The trophy, of course, is the prestigious Auras Cup and a cash prize of 250 grand a year. Oh dear, show me the letters in his distinctive pink colours has taken a tumble at the first fence. His supporters are cringing in the stands. Trailing already is Cavan Lad or the Cavan Dragon, whichever. He's a baldy fella with the herd number. He's carrying a bit too much weight for my liking. But coming up steadily on the inside, a fine filly from the Dennis O'Brien stable. 
the Quango Queen. And who's this sticking firmly in the middle of the field? He rode well in go in the past. Yes, it's Tweedledum, squeezing all kinds of nothing out on the outside. She struggled to find her pace when she ran this race before. No sign yet of Inchicor Grey. Inchicor Grey can't even get out of the starting blocks. No wonder his own stable didn't want him to run. He might have to go to grass after this one. And look at this. Out of nowhere, it's Ballot Box in one hand and Armalite in the other, looking threatening coming into this corner. Good over fences. He's serious on the whip, but hasn't used it since 74, although the stewards say otherwise. A long, long way to go in the race yet, but some of the spectators are losing interest already. Familiar looking race to them. They've seen it all before. The ground is soft here, so there's plenty of dirt, and no doubt most of the punters might feel it's all been a huge waste of money, even long before the finish at the end of the park. There's no end in sight. It just goes on and on and on and on. Eamon Gilbore, the quiet man? The alleged Thornishtha is in New York at the UN headquarters. Internationally uh, boring? This was exactly what I needed more. <gasps> the big speech at the UN. What did you make of it? Sure, I left halfway through to see the Lion King in Broadway. You were still droning on when I got back, by oh, the look, way. Oh, look. Obama's gone to the gents. Now is your chance to grab a few words with him what? and get the Labour Party on the international scene. I'm not following him into the toilets. You do it. Oh, God. Just be a man. My palms are sweaty. Go on, Gilbor. <sighs> okay, I'll do it. Oh, that's a great relief. Well, hello there, Mr. President. Oh, hi. Fancy meeting you here. Wait a second. How did you get past my Secret Service? What, what are you doing? Well, I've developed a knack of not getting noticed lately. Right. You might remember me. I'm Eamon Gilbore. Uh, that doesn't ring any it's bell. It's Vader Lynn. Um, no. It... Ireland, you know. Ah, you're not one of the cousins, are no, you? No, I'm not a relation or... Well, it's been real swell meeting you, Mr. Fader. Uh, now, no. here's a quarter. What? Uh, I fancy a spray of that cologne. Cologne? No, I'm not working in the toilets. Uh, and a towel, please. And, and... Oh, here you go. Thank you. A quarter? That's only 25 Thanks. That's change you can believe in. Will someone just cut me a break? Great idea. Paddies in the jacks. Well, how did that go? They were very constructive talks. You know, we discussed the Middle East crisis, Ireland, and Cologne. Cologne? Why would you be discussing? Yes, you know, Merkel and so on, the German markets. <gasps> but it's David Cameron at the bar. Now is my chance, Moan. Right, suit yourself. I'm doing the Sex in the City tour. The service is absolutely appalling here. Mr. Prime Minister, allow me to introduce myself. Oh, I boss boy, where have you been? Boss boy? No, I'm Eamon Gilboa. I'll have a G&T. Use Gordon's, please. What? No, the, lemon twist. Uh, I'm the Deputy Prime Minister of Ireland. I'm sorry, who? The Tarnished. Didn't you hear my speech on the Irish position earlier? No, not Irish whiskey. A G&T. What? I need to get tanked up before I go home to Clegg. I am Eamon Gilboa, Deputy Prime Minister of Ireland. By the way, you don't mind if I don't leave a tip, do you? I was giving you a chap seven billion quid last year. Oh, what's the point? Excuse me. <sighs> Do you want ice with that? Yes, two cubes, please. And do you have any nuts? No. No, I don't. <laughs> Sorry, there's just something in my eye. Ireland faces Italy in the Rugby World Cup tomorrow morning. You know Italy. A country with mounting problems. Although Silvio Berlusconi clearly doesn't have any. I need if to you're know just now. wait. Ha-ha! Here he is now, Mr. Berlusconi. Oh. This is the guy I told you has all the best hookers. Ah, grazie, grazie. Ciao. Over here. Who, me? Can I have uh, one word with you? So, sorry, me? Or you what? are Mr. Kidney, see? Well, that's what they call me, I yes. am told you have some wonderful hookers. I certainly do, and we're very lucky to have uh, them. You know who I am, no? I recognize you. can you. keep it a secret, see? Uh, no problem, yeah. Are your, <coughs> yeah. are your hookers available? Well, not really. I will be using two of them tomorrow, but there will be one of them free. Mm, and... Bunga, bunga. <laughs> can you describe them for me in every detail? Well, they're all just short of six feet tall and about uh, 17 stone each of oh, them. Mamma mia! Huh? I cannot wait. Oh. I like them bigger the better. Where are they? Oh, they're with the pack at the minute training. Oh. You know, they like to try out different positions and of course they have to get it right when they crouch, <laughs> touch, pause and engage. I so. have died and gone to heaven. Ah, look, here they are now. No. Just Men. fresh out of the shower. What is this? Ah. Hello. They're in great shape, you have to admit. <laughs> That's odd. I thought he wanted to meet them. We put the fear of God into the Italian joint. 
Where the hell are we, O'Keeve? I can't see a bloody thing in this mist. Fear not, a storm, O'Keeve. I know every inch of these Connemara roads. Didn't I tarmac them myself with EU grants? Well, I still say we're lost, you stupid old bag. Going forward. No, going backward, V. We've gone so far down this bloody road. There's no turning back now, is there? You're lost again, aren't you? You should ask for directions. I don't need to ask for directions. I have the, I have the sat-nav here. Hang on, let's switch it on. In exactly 1.35 miles, uh, you'll come to a crossroad. Uh, what does he know? I, I suppose they'll be dancing at the crossroad. With comely maidens and athletic youths and chicken and chips at the ready. Uh, uh, one chicken drumstick and one chip more like it, given the state of our support. True. God, I'd give anything to be back home in Montanati, tucking into a big feed of drishin. Turn left, oh. then right. What? Then left again. No, jibber- then stop at the first public house. Ah, no. And get your best Philip Walton impression ready. <laughs> Useless, that now. What are you doing with heel? Turn right, we should be going backwards. No, 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 no going forward. What cabshine is driving this yard? Uh, shut up, the two of you. God almighty, I can't concentrate with all of this. Calm down. What is that infernal clicking noise? That's my knitting store. What? I'm knitting a nice muffler for you over the long, cold, lonely winter that lies ahead. Oh, just stop it, will you? Oh, watch the potholes. You've made me drop a pearl. Oh, for God's sake, going forward. I feel carsick. Oh, me too. Slow down of the heel. What in God's name are you doing? Will you, for goodness sake, stop knitting? Oh. Going forward, going backward, going forward, going no, 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 going forward, going forward. Our great sundered thistles of Ty Devnet. Tip of the morning to y'all. I'm Michael Flatley with a new series of Lesser Spatted Ireland. And I'm Daniel Day, blessed that blunder and bums In this series, we look at parts of the Emerald Isle that rarely a light shines upon, more's the pity. To be sure, to be sure. This week, we look at the cursed county of Monaghan. Back in 21, when Mickey Collins' arm wrestled Lloyd George for the six counties in Lost, the only sticking point was what to do with Monaghan. Oh, but musha, musha, neither a gob sheen wanted to hear tell of it. So Mickey Collins said stick it up your red coat back end and may it curse ye British with an eternity of the galloping clap of the banshee. Aye but Lloyd George tricked them into keeping the county of hunchbacks would you believe. Now today Monaghan is a pagan place known for more superstitions and air and idle divil head of a wit day. And then there be the provost. Ah musha musha makushal. Oh the county is more provost per head of population than any other prison in Europe. In fact during the peace process General John de Chastelin said if they just covered Monaghan in concrete at breakfast time Bigger. should decommissioning could be done and dusted by the time the last heifer in Clonus was milked that night and lastly Michael tis near impossible to kill a man from the Farney County sure don't they say that Paddy Kavanagh himself had to be buried with a stake through his heart wrapped in a cavern flag and planted more than two miles from a barrel of porter just to stop him rising from the dead. Hi, he was a grouchy old bolcheen. Hi. So if ever you go to Monaghan, me bookers and colleens, ha. be sure to tip your hat and tie davenant. Carry a cross through Carrick Macross. And run like the wheels of hell through Blaney. And mind, don't stop till you get somewhere safer, bigger. Like the sniper fields of South Armagh. From all of us here at Lesser Spatted Ireland, Slan Agus backs to the wall. To be sure, to be, to be sure, sure, be got a be gotcha makushla makushla Ox oh, sure haggle me harpers and piddle me poteen and keep your mickey out of the kittle till Christmas The Secret Millionaire It's a television show apparently but this is The Secret Scanger True. And I said, Do well, tell I, us more, yeah. do tell well, us more. Uh, uh, I said then to Gail and to Donna, Dublin 4, rest of the country, no. no. <laughs> this is the best night I've had in the club in ages, really. I mean, you should come and play some golf with us, take a round, shouldn't he, Jeffrey? A delight, a delight. But what I can't understand is how we've never met you before. Well, I do have to admit something. I'm not really oh. corporate finance. Ah, old money. My uh, real name yeah. is Dwayne. Oh, and I am what? the secret scanger. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Just there with the joy, mate. Oh, Good <laughs> grief. Oh, well, I've always been distracting you bunch of fancy tosses, yeah? Oh, oh. Me mates have been cleaning out your beamers. Oh, my <laughs> hey, Lord. Hey, get up the yard. Someone oh, call the fat man. Oh. You've been... <laughs> you <laughs> Right. 
Right. Hello there and welcome back to the programme. Now, after a week of sustained pressure, Sinn Féin's presidential candidate, Martin McGuinness, has come into studio. You're very welcome. You're going to tell us the whole truth, Martin. So let's start, I suppose, by telling us about your time in the IRA. Uh, I was never in the IRA. Sorry, sorry, Martin, I didn't quite catch that. Uh, I was never in the IRA. I didn't join. Did you just say you were never in the IRA? Yes. So what were you in all of that time? Wearing the black beret and going marching around? I was in the scouts. Sorry? The boy scouts, Marion. And, that's, that's where I was. And that's why you never fired at the British Army or anyone else, I suppose. Uh, I, I did fire at them. So the scouts had guns. Uh, water pistols. Marianne. Water pistols? Yeah, water. So how did you manage to convince everyone that you were this great big IRA leader? It's extraordinary. Uh, everyone was so careful back then. I mean, nobody really knew who was what uh, with all the spies and the like about the place. I just told everyone everything was a secret. So all the way through the Troubles, yeah. you you were a Boy Scout. Yes, that's right. With a water pistol. That is the God's honest truth. And you still want to be president? Well, George Bush was a Boy Scout. David uh, Bowie was right. a Boy Scout as well. Right. Neil Just Armstrong. Shut up, Martin. Mandela. Shut up. Mandela. We'll take a break. Gandhi. Oh. Jesus Christ. In the Boy Scouts. Smoke Scout. break. Smoke break. Meanwhile, it's the trial of the century on the sudden death of the Celtic Tiger. It's a real thriller. Well, 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 well all, all, all I can say is that I was healthy when I left it. And by healthy, what exactly do you mean? Well, it was getting boomer. And uh, boomer, what would the <laughs> stuff that I, that I was giving it? And what kind of stuff were you giving it? I, I would be giving it a BPI. Yes. A shot of ETB every now and again. Really? A couple of milligrams uh, of GBFG to send it to sleep. You might explain some of those terms for the laymen and women of the jury. Of course, uh, uh, BPI is big property incentives, um, enormous tax breaks in the ETBs. And yes. The GB, GBFGs are the great big feckin' grants. And do you not think that your patient, Mr. Tiger, may have overdone these treatments? That he may have overdosed, well, well, look, as it were? Uh, he, he was fine when I left. Oh. That's, uh, that's all I can say. The Tiger look. was happy. Everyone was happy. I've I, I done absolutely nothing wrong here. I put it to you uh, that it was you who administered the lethal dose. That was an anesthetic. <laughs> and the whole country was numbed. They, oh. were feeling, they were feeling great and there were no complaints. Oh. And, and the Tiger looked like it could go on and on forever. It was a great show. Nonsense. We have a own doctor here who will say that you took your eye off the patient. No. Dr. Leo, step forward, please. What, what's he doing in a cricket jumper? Uh, uh, good afternoon. No, yeah. Dr. Leo v- v- Veruca. Varadkar. Did Dr. Ahern take proper care of the tiger? It's my view that he could have and should have done more to save the tiger. Uh, well, well, why don't you ask him what he'd done with the Metro West? That was in his operating table before the lights went out. Nothing to do with me. Dr. It, Leo? It had lost so much blood already. What? There, there was absolutely nothing I could do to save the, the, the save You the let the Metro die! I... I, 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 I I, you get off home now, you little pup, I, I, before I, I, I give Michael ring transport and leave you with sport. No, no. Do you hear me? Five years of the GAA. <laughs> okay, I'm going. Dr. Ahern, yeah, yeah. you are no. responsible for the dish. Lies. No. The, the dish. Confess. This is a Kango court. No. And, and if you're looking for someone who done it, what? try Biffo. No. That's who's guilty. It was you. Biffo. You. Not me. No. No. Order. And you alone. Order. I'm sorry, my lord. We shall adjourn for a while. Uh, Everyone uh, off to Gibos. Uh, except uh, the jury. You can have the scraps. <laughs> Order done. Deadly. Now to the lock-in in Ranala. It's not D2, but it is a lock-in. The perfect early house to enjoy the rugby. Hello there, Eamon Dunphy here. If you're looking for somewhere new to watch the Ireland Italy Rugby World Cup game and you're sick of spending the morning outside Lily's Board Hellhole or the Matter Hospital Stomach Pump-Out Room, then visit my new bar, the lock-in. Open through the night tonight... Come in and join me for a quiet headbutt in Ranla's finest new watering hole with barman Shane McGowan. <laughs> you know, I went into a shop looking for a collection of Michael Jackson's hits. Yeah. He sent me to the pharmacy section, but I needed a prescription for most of them. <laughs> there will also be post-drink analysis with Hooky. It was phenomenal. I mean, if you stop it there, you'll see he was nowhere over the line when he touched down and missed the toilet bowl completely. A very bad day for the kidneys. So come on down to us right now before someone calls the guards. Because if you're not in, you can't get locked in. Careful, Eamon. Oh, oh, God. Eamon. Wake up, Eamon. I think I'm getting the shakes. I need another pint of petrol. (laughs) 
2017 at Orson Uchtheroyne and the two presidents are settling in for a quiet evening. Oh. Oh, look at the time! Time, time. What? Let us not waste time in our idle discourse. <laughs> what are you going on about, Vice President? Have you gone mad? Uh, President, we are all born mad, but some of us remain so. What are you saying, you daft thing? <coughs> Samuel Beckett waiting for Gotto, Mr. Vice President. President! President! Damn, I've spilled your comm plan all over the chaise long. Oh. <laughs> oh, my word. Have we missed the centenary of the rising? That was last year, you old bat. What? what? Was it the year before? I should... Oh, my word. How long have we been in here? I don't know. Hello? <coughs> Anyone? There's nobody there. There's no use. Oh. I wonder if that McGuinness chap is going to the centenary, too. Oh. Whatever happened to him? McGuinness, McGamus, McGamy. Oh, old house and kidneys oh. for breakfast. Stop it! Shave! Stop. Shave! Away, away, J.B. Get a grip of yourself. Horse. Stop. Up we go to Sandy Cove. No. Yes. No. Yes, Leo. Get a grip. Yes. Control oh. it. Oh. Oh. Control oh. yourself. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. Thank you, my Are you all right? I was just having another of my Joycean episodes. You scared me. We can't go on like this, Mr. Vice President. Uh, President, uh, and don't talk like that. They'll push us in a home. They already have. Oh, but alas, shush, alas. Shush, what's shush, to become shush, of us? There, there. Oh. Quiet. Yeah. Quiet. Rest yeah. easy now. Sleep. Oh. Sleep, my sweetness. Yeah. Hush. I now. just want to say yes. thank you for everything you've done for me, Michael Tree. You just rest now yeah. and don't think about those yeah. letters. Or <gasps> the letters! Oh. 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 Sleep. Oh. Sleep yeah. now. Yeah. 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 And so another historic week in the Emerald Isle draws to a close. Four more weeks of constant surprises and eternal contradictions. Four weeks. Four weeks. Four more weeks. Chucky Garlow.